All right, so we got to talk about this, man. We got to react to uh, Bam Man Kevo's uh, live stream, not the one from yesterday. We're going to react to the one with uh, Big Folks, him and uh, Big Folks talking about CJ Soku's channel, royalty, and why it's not doing that well. It's not because what CJ Soku has been telling you guys, right? He's been telling you because of what royalty put out there and CJ on 32's put out there and this Jalea situation and story or whatever, that that's the reason his channel now is not doing that well. His channel was not doing that well for a while. You can see the graph here, all right? Now, this is just an estimate, all right? This isn't, this isn't like actual numbers. These are just estimates. But you can see he's not doing that well, and he wasn't doing that well for quite some time, which I think, just my opinion, I could be mistaken, might be the reason why he created that second channel because the main channel... It's just not doing that well. It's like sinking really, really fast, and it's been sinking. All right, you can see the graph. It's not like it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. It's just going down, all the way down. Um, average video views is two point one percent. Two point one percent. He's in the red zone. That's really, really bad. I know the number looks really high, a hundred eighty-seven thousand views. All right, and these are just estimates, right? But it's almost the same if you look at his recent videos. But just imagine if he goes down another percent, just one more percent, that's going to be half of this number. So it's clearly the content he's posting on there, the family separation. This is pretty much what Bam Man Kevo is going to talk about here um, in this live stream. But yeah, even the live stream and stats are really low. I mean, once you get in the red zone... That's pretty much a done deal, um, especially all the way down. Like he's not like, you know, he's not right. He's not right in the middle between red and yellow where he can kind of like get rescued or something like that. He's all the way. He's at 2.1%, just one more percent down. And he's down to 100,000 views. Then if he gets down to a half a percent, that's 50. That's crazy, man. That is a crazy ratio when you look at his total subscriber amount of 9 million from 9 million he's down to 2% but let's get into this um live stream it's not, they right CJ name was he I was just talking about this he did already establish himself on YouTube and all that before he went to them he just added them onto his channel remember he was already CJ so cool so he, he kind of added it to him and when he added them on there that's when it jumped to the, to the millions of subscribers because it was all kids no, for sure. That's what I'm saying. But th where the real bad came from was what when he was what he was doing with the kids, though. You know what I mean? No, nah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, 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 so basically, you know what I mean? There, like, you got to outside and look in and see what's going on. So, I don't think CJ really wanted to be with royalty like that, but he felt like he still needed her for the kids' purposes. No, nah, of course, you know what I mean, because without without the kids, you see what you see right now. He don't even got a show no more. It, it, soon the kids, up, I told you, soon they, soon that's gone. Exactly. See, like when I showed you guys um, just a minute ago, the stats, and these are just estimates, right? They're not actual numbers. I just have to put that out there because CJ So Cool might come out and be like, oh, that's not my real numbers. Yeah, but that's, it's just estimates. And you can tell just from the direction alone of the channel, from the graph, it's going down. It's not, you know, there's channels where it goes up and down, up and down. It's like seasons or whatever. His has always been sinking because of royalty the kids are no longer in the picture then he got uh he got with lexi he thought lexi's content was gonna work it didn't work all right he's been deleting a lot of videos which we're gonna talk about next so yeah all over with because that's what the whole shit was about yeah so i mean you know cj he on there basically saying like okay well um the kids this and you know i've seen a little stuff about the girl saying it uh what do you think about that the, uh the little girl saying that cj um touched her type shit i mean me being around them and this and that and knowing how royalty and her mama don't get down and coaching them kids and doing all that shit and then getting under that bag when he sold that channel you know what i said we know the whole little shit how that went which uh, we was telling cj like they do deserve he sold 70 percent of that channel for three million dollars he's supposed to gave them at least a million dollars yeah yeah, yeah. He, he, he at least gave them that but then that's what he told us that they used to complain about even filming they really never wanted to do it but I feel like I feel also feel like they I also feel like they probably wasn't motivated because he was controlling all the finances. And so it sounds like from what Bam Man Kevo and Big Folks are saying, it's all right. This is just my gathering from what they just said. You know, Bam Man Kevo asked them, "What do you think about these allegations?" And Big Folks talked about the numbers. 
So it sounds like perhaps what happened is uh, royalty and her daughter and her family didn't feel like they were getting compensated fairly um, because CJ Sokol controlled all the finances, all the money, all the earnings, the uh, these loan advances or whatever, these payouts. He controlled everything, all the money. So they didn't feel like they're getting compensated. They can't get their money out of them. So what is the next thing to do is to create this story. That's what it sounds like. Bam, man, Kevo uh, and big folks are kind of trying to say. I mean, I could be mistaken. Let me know what y'all think about this. He was being the way he was being. So if it was my kids and I got this dude, you know, controlling everything and barely want to give us anything, I probably feel the same way. Was he, that was her kids, and she was on the channel too. So when he got the, when he got the big, man, I think that's why he's freaking out right now. Because like D'Lo just said, now, who closer to him than D'Lo? And the way he did D'Lo is ridiculous. Yeah, one so, person that know all the secrets is D'Lo. D'Lo, yeah, he got some nerve talking about uh, D'Lo because I still I got love for CJ, but and CJ a good person, but I think he's just losing it. Like he he blames uh, D'Lo for taking one hundred twenty thousand, and you know, like I know, he that blame everybody. He blames he ain't, he ain't noticed, touch no money. He noticed when he talks, he, he don't take no accountability. He says, "Well, when I got the loan, if I wasn't hanging out with people, now, 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 somebody, like, now imagine he was buying them kids everything. That's way before this loan money. See, they been having money, so they been getting shit. This that 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 loan and all that shit came when they was already breaking apart. So it's like it was like I don't know if he was kind of smart about getting rid of it because the channel was gonna go down anyway because the kids was leaving. He knew that." No, but you got to think he also was making a few hundred thousand dollars a month off of the YouTube channel for them. So by buying them everything, which they deserved everything. I mean, yeah, it was their money, really. He's yeah, really just they their money. That's they bought the fault, though. If you're getting $300,000 a month, $400,000 a month. So, I mean, the best way to really think about this is royalty and her kids were all actors. They're all actors and CJ So Cool's channel and his content. Um, but they were not paid fairly. According to Batman, they're not being paid fairly. That's it just doesn't make sense. I mean, everybody that watches a movie, you know, everybody in that movie, all the leading actors, everybody, extras, they all get paid. And I guess CJ so cool controlled all of it um, and just used them. So, shit, I mean, I, I think that's what might have happened. You know, they're like, yo, give us the money, give us the money. Don't want to give you guys money or just buy some goofy stuff. But they really want they want to cut. So when he says, I got $4 million, right? He said, I got $1.7 million off the first loan, the first payout, the first selling of uh, 30% or whatever percent he sold off his uh, channel. And then the second amount, he said he got 2.2, so he got 3.9. He should have gave his um, royalty and her kids a slice of that, probably even half of it. And to be honest, it should be more than half because they control the content because now... He ain't got content. He's talking about, oh, I took a break. I took a step back. Ain't no step back. Anything you put out is not doing well. You look at the percentages. These percentages didn't populate over the last couple of weeks. You've been going down. The kids still should get out. Them, everything, what does that consist of? You know what I mean? I would have stole 500000 from him. He really should have gave me 200000 Nigga saved his whole career because he's been doing little shit with these prostitutes and all that. Yeah, like, he got he got to control himself. Yeah, big Al stole his money. I ain't stealing no money from that boy. He's the one no, telling that's, them what the real how to really play shit. That's what it was, though, bro. When he took the loan, right? Let's say if they said, look, we'll give you $2 million on your channel. But if we're going to give you this money up front, we want three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000. And him being so thirsty for the money, what happened was he took it not thinking because he was so thirsty and money hungry. In his head, as soon as he got the money, he went on a shopping spree. He went to buy jury. He wanted to go buy it because he went. Also, you know he competes. So and he's lying on something, too. Not to keep cutting you off, but I I've been watching this. I know you were on the airplane. He claimed that he wasn't, none of his friends told him when he sold the channel what to do with the money. Like, I was that. You told him, like, all right, so get, yeah, if you're going to sell a channel, create another channel, nigga. But create another channel with the kids, nigga, or some more kids. If those kids leaving, nigga, you better add some kids to your shit. And he tried to do that shit. He tried to go get his daughter from Indiana. That shit didn't work. Didn't work. It didn't work. He tried to, even even I, I was like, man, you should go get an agency. You should do this and do that. You can't. But this this thing about him, all them distractions. You got to think he's so distracted. Even if he did want to go do something, he was so distracted by what royalty had going on, about girls, about this, by that, trying to keep up with other people. You know what I mean? Like he was he was too like into other things versus trying to really make his bag. Because he only like every time you talk to him, he say, like, "This all I know. All I know how to do is this." It's like he didn't even really want to learn nothing else. So shit, that was his own fault. I ain't fucking with CJ on 32s, how he come out of me, because to be honest, when we came around CJ on 32s, he was a little car guy, but he didn't have money like y'all. He wasn't playing with money like CJ and this and that. And I watched you, man. Wow.
So Big Folk says that uh, CJ on 32 did not have money when he came around CJ So Cool. Did y'all hear that? He said when CJ on 32s came around, you guys, he ain't have money like that. So CJ So Cool was the big guy. About girls, about this, about that, trying to keep up with other people. You know what I mean? Like he was, he was too like into other things versus trying to really make his bag. Cause he only like every time you talk to him, he say, "This all I know. All I know how to do is this." It's like he didn't even really want to learn nothing else. So shit, that was his own fault. I ain't fucking with CJ on thirty twos. How he coming out of me? Because to be honest, when we came around CJ on thirty twos, he was a little car guy, but he didn't have money like y'all. He wasn't playing with money like CJ this and that. And I watched you and CJ in CJ so cool house coaching that boy how to go get go how to. Sh- Money or no back and forth shit like that. We just know that he he acts. He's a funny acting ass friend. He's always been weird ever since we came around. He's a competitive in the competition, which they want. So yeah, now that you know that your money's still elevating, he feel like he's declining. So he feel like because I just heard him. He feel like you gonna clown him and be like, I guess he seen a little post about uh you saying that the reason why he went broke, so he offended, feeling like why would he, he shouldn't be talking about it. He shouldn't be saying nothing. He just been waiting on me to go broke. Like nigga, who the fuck's just around to wait on their friends to go broke? Yeah, I don't give a fuck if he was rich or broke. At the end of the day, you gotta think when I first came around. It was like, he was asking me, how should I do this? How should I do that? And I told him, it ain't like, I don't, like, this is my thing. It don't matter. He can make a lot of money now. My thing is, though, I always look at niggas like this. Whatever you got going on, if you don't got four or five, six or seven incomes, most likely that shit ain't gonna last forever. That's why it'd be funny. When he was big-headed with that weak-ass loan, I knew for a fact that that shit was gonna run out. Just like, like anything else. Like, if you're only just doing that one thing, that shit's gonna go low, then you're gonna look stupid anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean... I just never understood why somebody would sell that much equity in their business. Like, it doesn't make sense. Just think about yourself, anybody that has a business. Why would you give up more than 50% of your business equity so other people have a greater stake in your own business that you have to work into to make back the money to pay off the loan? It just doesn't, it don't make any sense to me how anybody can think that that's a good decision to give up 70 percent he sold what 70 he sold more than 50 percent to get four million dollars up front so he doesn't own the channel so now he's doing this whole other channel and he's just carrying over the same old drama it's the same old drama I said they little car raffle run it was going they, they made a lot of money off that shit. yeah but the thing is though the way this um like the way how CJ do things, he just he's more for like more for what he's himself. You know what I mean with that shit. So he wants to be the biggest and the best at everything. So if he's not the biggest and the best at it, he don't want to do it. Type shit. You know what I mean. So at the end- so CJ so cool doesn't want to do car raffles because CJ on thirty twos is basically the biggest in terms of car raffles. He's doing it on a high level. I mean, right now he's doing like four car giveaways. So if CJ so cool doesn't feel like he can top that he's not gonna do it according to bam man like as far as with that he just i don't know bro like i said only thing he was when when, when uh, al came around and he was talking about the long shit that's all so, so let me let me about. ask you this because I, I i i heard see that how did it go from 200,000 when remember when al had the 200,000 for nothing out of or whatever how did it get to 500 because, okay so okay this, this Man, this is so crazy. Just talking about these numbers that CJ Sokul handed out to people like Big Al and this person and that person. 500,000 here, 200,000 here, 300,000 here. And then you look at his grandmother's house. That house is like there's a big ass hole in the ceiling. It looks like it looks like something in a third world country, man. It's like, bro, what are you doing? You giving people like five hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, or two hundred thousand, or a hundred thousand, and your own family are struggling. His, did you guys go on his channel on CJ So Cool's channel? Look at his grandma's grandma's house. He said he gonna get the city. Boy, you should be fixing that house or buying her a new house. Your mom, she is cleaning subscribers' houses. This woman, I guess, got kicked out of her job at the car factory or whatever, and she's cleaning. She's a maid, and people, his own mother, his brothers look broke. I don't understand. Like, what is this? It's, it's crazy. How this shit work? If you bring one of these YouTube niggas, a uh, 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 advance, right? You bring in an advance. Say if it's two million dollars, there's commissions in that money. So when bro brought him that loan, he got paid off of that loan. And plus, 
the interest he has to pay back. So CJ probably got two million, but probably owed them people almost two point six, two point seven million dollars that he got in advance. And knowing that, like, like, why would you take the money knowing that you have a problem with your girl, you have a problem with these kids, you have a problem, like, you're just doing a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? Like, for some, and then after that, you start getting mad at everybody. Oh, saying, man, oh, that man, nigga came around complaining about royalty and them kids before he did that. So to me, I think I think it was a smart move, and I, I know he did it on purpose and not giving them no money because he already had players on like separating himself with them. He know royalty is like he can't take it no more. He's telling us all they've been is like the bitch worshiping the devil and the mama worshiping the devil and they preaching this shit to the kids. And he already knew he was going to leave. And when he made his exit, he sold that fucking channel. And I think I don't, the shoes and all these investments the white girl got him doing, I don't know if like it ate up to $3 million and now he don't got it and he's trying to figure out how to get the channel. But I don't know what he's going through, but he's definitely going through something. Yeah. Man, I don't know what's going on with the man. Why, why he bring yeah. you up, though? Like, he said he said a little shit. He said he I just, this is my thing about that. Like, this is my thing. This is my thing. Every t- I feel like every time a nigga say something, right? It's like, he'll say his friends, then he end up bringing my name into it, knowing that I know too much about the nigga. And it's just like, bro, like I said, don't say nothing about me because I know too much about you. I can make a video about you every fucking day and really go deep. You see, you know all the hoes we know. Remember when we was in Cali, bro? Remember when me, me you, him... And we was all in Cali, and yeah, then he was his ass when he's nothing prostitutes telling them, they yeah, and they, they, his bam. <laughs> and like, bro, please, bro. And I, we- wow, he nut inside prostitutes. Wow, that's crazy. Um, and we was all in Cali, and yeah, then he was his ass when he's nothing prostitutes telling them, they, yeah, and they, they, they his bam. <laughs> and like, bro, please, bro. And I, we would have never, I would have never came. To, I would have never uh, nutted her if I wouldn't have came down here with you. And you know, and then talking about like, bro, um, I'm hungry, bro. And we like, shit, we can go to get Uber Eats or something like that. And nigga, like, well, bro, I usually have royalty make my food and just uh, listen, like, talking about why Kevo make a video about CJ first. No, he did. CJ said some wild shit the other day out of nowhere. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, and Batman Kevo, I told you guys, Batman Kevo is not like CJ on Thirty Two. CJ on Thirty Two is just a little bit more laid back you know his tolerance is a lot higher so cj on 32s only did that one video or maybe two videos bam man kevo he's been doing more and more live streams now he told cj you know you say my name i'm gonna come out with light he's been doing it every day now the bro kevo well, for no reason this shit it's about a scam yeah like bro like what <laughs> yeah it's like if, 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 if a nigga, that's just like a nigga calling me a scammer that's just like me saying everything that he done done is a scam basically literally that's- that's just like royalty. I'm talking about he a pedophile. He touched the Jaleel or whatever. Now, yeah, that just means meaning that I can just sit on, I can just sit on the fucking platform and say, well, CJ so CJ uh, so cool is a pedophile. He's a pedophile. Like literally on every platform I get on, I can just literally say the nigga a pedophile. You know what I mean? So it's kind of just like they don't want they don't want that, do they? You know what I mean? So it's kind of like then all, all y'all keep saying that too. Not to get on my uh, podcast shit enough, but all three of y'all keep saying like like CJ on thirty two just told that nigga, man, I know so much. I'm, I'm about to woo this net this CJ. So cool, just tell him, nigga, I know about, I know all y'all business, and I could be exposed, like, what is that to expose? Well, please, well, expose my business, please, because I don't <laughs> like, care. It's like, my business already out, gang. Like, the thing is, though, I'm not sitting up here getting called a fucking pedophile and, like, doing this and talking about I'm broke and then trying to use other people saying, well, if I'm broke, Mike Tyson went broken. This but honestly, Cabo, do you think, like, what do you... <sighs> this message... That just popped out of nowhere with this little girl, and we kind of really, really know them. Honestly, I, it's hard for me to even repeat that shit because I, I know that's some bullshit. That's, no, that's I kind of think it's some cat shit. That's still not having no other win. So, Bam Man and Big Folks think the whole thing about Jalea and royalty, that the story they put out there, they think it's all cap. It's all bullshit. It's not true. Um, so, here we got Bam Man Kevo and Big Folks saying they don't, they think this story is all cap. So, like I said, I think this whole thing was, I kind of go back to my comment earlier when. Maybe he didn't compensate them well, um, and they felt like they're getting they're getting the short end of the stick. So by coming out with a story like that, he's not going to be able to make money. That's pretty much what it sounds like. Honestly, I, it's hard for me to even repeat that shit because I, I know that's some bullshit. That's, no, that's I kind of think it's some cash that's, shit. That's though, you know? not having no other way to get no money from the boy. They've been trying to get money from him for the last two years, remember? Yeah. So I, I, that part right there, I don't even want to even, I, I ain't going to put that on them. If he did, then it, they should have been saying something, and then they should get him locked up and all type of shit. You know what I'm right. saying? And then, like like my friend said, motherfucker sitting there watching royalty talk about the shit. She's emotionless. She ain't, she ain't, you'll be going crazy if you found out somebody touched your daughter and been touching your daughter. And played us out some millions of dollars. This, look, this is another thing, though, gang. He was talking about the jury saying, man, yeah, you know. All right, man, we're going to wrap up here. Um. 
for part one. I think we'll do a separate part for this conversation. They talk about royalty in her video and crying and all that. So we'll do that one separately. But let me know what y'all think about this, man. This is crazy. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, 